Hello, and welcome to High Score Labs, a series on Acquia Drupal 8. This is episode one. We're going to be installing the Acquia Dev desktop software for the local development environment. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with this. First, you're going to go to dev.acquia.com forward slash downloads. And then you're going to go down to the download link to scroll down, and you will see one for Mac and for down, uh, Windows. And those are the only two platforms currently that they have, so we'll go ahead and download the Windows one because that's what I'm on. Uh, give it a little bit to download, and um, it should be pretty quick depending on the internet connection. It's a relatively small file. And uh, once it's downloaded, you'll go ahead and just click it, and it'll, uh, it'll open the wizard for the installation. Okay, here we are at the Acquia Dev Desktop Installation Wizard. Um, from here, you're just going to hit Next to begin. It will give you a couple components you can remove, but we're going to leave the default set. So go ahead and uh, just review those and then hit Next. You can uncheck them if you don't need them. And then this is the list of the software for the servers and the uh, PHP language that it requires for the Drupal that we're using. So, or for this version of Dev Desktop, so go ahead and next. This is a standard license agreement. Hit next. This is the path um, of where it's going to install Dev Desktop and also the sites. These are your default ports. We recommend keeping it. Uh, go ahead and hit next, and it'll begin the installation. So, this won't take too long. It should take a minute or two to install. Um, just let it download and unpack. And then once it's finished, you'll be at the congratulations screen. It'll go ahead and launch, hit finish, and launch uh, the Acquia Dev Desktop environment. You might want to change your firewall settings. Um, I'm going to go ahead and allow private and public for my servers, but you might want to uncheck public. All right. And then from here, you have a little welcome screen where you can choose. Um, I want to do a, I don't have an existing Drupal site, so I want to do it from scratch, which is what we're going to do. Or you can do it from cloud, or you can have an existing one. Those are the three options on that home screen. So uh, here we're going to select our Drupal distribution. There's many distributions in the list, but we're going to choose the Drupal 8 core. Hit install, and this will take you to uh, step two, which allows you to choose your path for your code base and also your site name, which must be unique for your local site name because it makes the URL and DNS settings. Uh, we're going to leave the create database. Um, I am going to go ahead and change the my uh, local site name instead of using the minor numbers. I'm just going to do Drupal 8 because I do not have that on my local environment. So it is unique. I'll go ahead and hit finish and it will uh, extract the Drupal 8 archive and begin the installation and set up the database for us. So just give it a moment to complete. And once it's done, you will click the link where it says local site, and that'll take you to uh, the actual local uh, Drupal 8.dd path. And then here you are at the Drupal 8 installation wizard. Choose your language, hit save and continue. Then you can choose an installation profile here. We'll just use standard. And um, once it loads that, it'll go ahead and install the database for you in the background. Now it's installing the actual Drupal core along with um, some modules that are um, mostly used as part of the standard modules. And once it's done installing, it'll take you to the uh, site configuration screen. And um, once we're here, uh, just go ahead and choose a site name. We're going to use Drupal 8 and uh, any email address because it's not, again, this is just on our local environment. <clears throat> and we're going to choose our country. Make sure you set your locale. So I'm in the United States, I'll choose that. And then the time zone, I'm in New York, so I'll choose that. And uh, we're going to uncheck receive emails because our email server will not be operational on our dev environment. And then uh, go ahead and hit install, and it will take you to your congratulations screen. Here you are dropped into the Drupal 8 um, homepage along with the, uh, you're logged in as the admin user, which is the super user uh, ID 1 which is important in Drupal 8, and we'll get to that in another video.
but this is how you install the uh, Acquia dev desktop software and get a initial uh, Drupal 8 core setup going. Watching this episode one on setting up the Acquia dev desktop software to install Drupal 8 core. Um, we have plenty of videos. We have plenty more videos coming. We have many years experience at Highscore Labs working with Drupal 7, 8, and 9. And also we are an Acquia partner. So please reach out to us if you have any uh, needs or questions regarding Acquia or Drupal 8. Thank you and continue watching our videos.